Welcome or welcome back to Journey into Stories. Today I'm going to be reading the last three chapters of By the Book by Jasmine Gullery. I hope I'm saying her name right. And uh, I'm going to read it in front of her castle, Beast Castle. So I'll let you know what I think when I get it through. Sometimes to truly know a person, you have to read between the lines. Isabel is completely lost. When she first began her career in publishing after, publishing after college, she did not expect to be 25, still living at home and one of the few black employees at her publishing house. Overworked and underpaid, constantly torn between speaking up, Izzy thinks there must be more to this publishing life. So when she overhears her boss complaining about a beastly high profile author who has failed to deliver his long awaited manuscript, Isabel sees an opportunity to prove her worth and finally get the recognition she deserves. All she has to do is go to the author's Santa Barbara mansion and give him a pep talk or three. How hard could it be? But Izzy quickly finds out she is in over her head. Bo Towers is not some celebrity, lightweight, writing a tell-all memoir. He is jaded and withdrawn, and it turns out just as lost as Izzy. But despite his standoffishness, Izzy needs Bo to deliver, and with her encouragement, his story begins to spill onto the page. They soon discover they have more in common than either of them expected. And as their deadline nears, Izzy and Bo begin to realize there may be something there that wasn't there before. This was four stars. I loved it. Loved the love story between Bo and Izzy. And again, I think this is book two in the series. So if you're interested, pick it up by the book. It's the retelling of Bell and Beast. It's adorable. Love it. Love it. Love it. So four stars and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you're reading something amazing and be kind to yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.